ladies football has improved so much and what what's been put into it this is this is this is uh, like in the month of November, end of November, getting a contest like this, it's incredible. And the pitch is in great con condition. Well, you mentioned that game. That was, I think, December or November four it was. years ago. It was, yeah. Emma yeah. Duggan was 15. That's all she was, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The signs were there of what Meath were going to do in a yeah. few years' yeah. time, I yeah. guess, yeah. because yeah. it was Emma and Vicky. And then in the yeah. final, yeah. they both yeah. got goals. But what they have done in ladies' football... Yeah. And where they have come from to win an All Ireland now, but maybe you knew about that because you're in me. Did you see that coming? I probably, I would probably would have thought Emma was probably the best young Gaelic player I had ever seen, and that's not a that's not putting a, a head on her because you know she's a, she is that good. She's a brilliant player, and Vicky's a great player as well. But like you, just, but you just go through both teams there today, like so many of them are winners. So many of them are. Just really classic Gaelic footballers, and um, but the game that Tina Healy play is far suit, more suited because their game is they carry the ball and they've always done that, and then they look for the player in space and uh, I'm sort of the, the captain up front. You know, she she creates that space. Jackie Kinch. Jackie, yeah, and and uh, and, uh, and the girl number fifty in the corner. Hogan is such a she's such a, you, know, you can really say mark, mark that down. But that's, she's that's a lovely right. drop of the shoulder that, she has, that, yeah. that sends yeah, players yeah. Out, yeah. out of the ground. Yeah. You know, and so it's really, it's really put them mind under enormous pressure and they've got to have an awful lot to do to get back into this game. But um, And you might say there's only a point in it. That's all that's in it. But like the game that Tina Healy play, they would love playing up that hill. When so you the mentioned hill. the um, classy Gaelic footballers and the ability of ladies Gaelic footballers, yeah, yeah. I mean, Emma Duggan, you mentioned, I mean, sure. that's high praise, but I mean, she's two-footed. She's she got yeah. everything. They've yeah. got the injection yeah. of pace. Yeah. There's so yeah. Yeah. there's so much quality there among yeah. the players yeah. these days, yeah. and that's improved over the years. It, it's absolutely wonderful. And what I love about it is it's it's still there's it's, there's no cynicism. It's just honest to goodness. Okay, we might bump into each other, or whatever. There's nothing malicious. They all mind each other, and uh, they all like the, the best players you have up the forwards. They're working back to give a hand as well. Jerome has been a, it's, it's been a monumental. Um, Development, probably the greatest development in Gaelic games you know, for for 50 years. I'd say that at least. That's a big comment, but I know where you're coming from with it because ladies Gaelic football has become so big now, yeah. and, the, and the win by me, the masterminded by Eamon Murray, came yeah. out of the blue. But it's been such an injection for the yeah. game in general, and there must be players all over the country going, "We can do that as well." I mean, it really is in a fantastic place. It is, yeah. But just, if you if you take sort of the way COVID has been. And all the things that came along with it. And if somebody was to say to you last year, you know, after Rome being beaten down in in in, uh, in Tralee by Kerry, that they would come on and win the All Ireland after us. But it's amazing with the COVID, an awful lot of players, both men's and women's, that have become very single-minded, they've taken responsibility for their own actions about where they, and where they want to get to. And that's that's brilliant to see because, like, um, if you're a coach or if you're a player, you must trust yourself. And that's what they're doing in sp in spades. It's really, it's really, it's really a great day for a great. This is a great day for the game too. Eamon Murray told me a few weeks ago that the Meath players went away over the winter individually and came back, and their times yeah. were incredible. So yeah. they took individual responsibility. Yeah, and um, the great thing about Eamon, you see, is he trusts himself, so he trusts them, and um, so there's no pretense. That's what I'm saying to you earlier. And there's no cynicism, and they don't seem to do panic. And I think that's fantastic. And um, oh, you know the number of times I've been out at a ladies' match and pick the ball off the ground. So, oh Jesus Christ, you could pick the ball again. But it seems to keep the game flowing. Like today is a bit stop start, but now that the, the the horizons begin to rise, it's begin to lift. I think it'll lift it even more. I think we're in for a great second half. Talk to me for a minute, if you would, about Eamon Murray because <laughs> yeah. he's done an incredible job. You're a man who is known for managing me teams down the decades. But what has Eamon Murray done there exactly? He has an extraordinary ability to bring people together, but he's very calm, he's very assured. Um, and like every big day, as we would call it a big day, it's just another match. And Eamon is there to enjoy that match and to make sure that his girls are enjoying that. And he has people like Michelle Wall and Michelle Grimes, Stacey's mother, they call her mammy. And like they've been there all along, right through this. And then you've got like, sir, Paul, Paul Garrigan. So Eamon gives people their head if he knows that that's what they can do. But there's times you can know, Eamon says, no, we'll do it, some, we'll do it a different way. And that's a, that's a great ability. And long may that be, long may that be so.